guys. Just wondering if anybody else has experienced this and, you know, would have an idea. Of course, now it's not going to do it because I want to film it. But anyway, what happens is, running down the highway, highway speed, there it goes. I get the flash in the engine, which is multi-miss code. And usually it only does it once I get past 65 mile an hour and over. Sometimes it'll flash a couple times, go away. Sometimes it'll flash like it did there, go away. Sometimes it'll flash 30 or 40 times. And I have changed plugs, plug wires, all my coils twice, and still does it. The only time it really doesn't do it is when I have a trailer hooked up. So I was just wondering if anybody else out there has any of this issue going on. This is a 2004 Silverado 2500 HD with a 6 liter in it. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Alright. This is a follow up video on the one I put up and asking anybody about the uh, check engine light not shifting correct. Anybody else had any problems? As you can see, I'm running about the same speed. You can see my tacking, tacking near as high. See, it's a, you should be able to hear the engine staying in the high gear. But totally off the gas. So you hear how I drop back down into the high, it's locking into the high gear. The overdrive, high, fifth gear, whatever. Anyway, the fix to this was basically crank sensor. I read the one guy's uh, review on there about doing a relearn. I did do that and it didn't seem to help. So um, I already had a purchase one, so I just went ahead and put it in and from by knowledge, you don't have to do anything other than put it in. Sorry for the sun. Just kind of showing you what it's doing here. And in case anybody does think that is high RPMs, this truck does have the 410 rears in it. From all of my understanding, all the 6.0s, 2500s do have the, the, the uh, 410 rears in it. But anyway, I just want you to know, the sensor's about 50 bucks. Depending on where you go, 50 to 60 bucks, depending on what kind of brakes you get, whatever. So, in my opinion, it's just easy to go ahead and just go get the sensor. On these 6.0s, and I know the 5.3 as well, they're underneath the starter. Just drop a starter down, 10 millimeter holds it in there and pop it out. Put the new one in and bolt it back in and get down the road. So, thanks for all your help, guys. Everybody that's, you know, that chimed in, and uh, one fellow said he, he uh, relearned the sensor and fixed his. That's what put me on to doing this. So, thank you again.